Today we teach you how to do the Americana with double pivot. We start by showing you the movements and then we break down the steps. Here is the movement. It's very cool. Now let's break down the steps. So we begin with the apertura and here we are going to pivot together into the Americana. Yes, Americana is when we take this step together parallel. We are uh, looking at each other and now I'm going to invite her to pivot with me. So we are going to pivot together and now I will use this contraposition and I'm going to change my weight at the same time that I'm pivoting her and then I'm going to send her back but straight away. Now I'm, we are stopping here because we want to show you but the idea is that we don't stop. So from this pivot I change my weight and I pivot her back and then I go around and we resolve with the contra giro. Now we show you from another angle. Side step, Americana, pivot, change weight and then we go into the contra giro. For the followers I want to invite you to be very connected so do not anticipate your pivot. You're only pivoting when he's inviting you to do so. Here we take a forward step, pivot, pivot back and transfer your weight when you feel that he's coming forward. And then we take a forward step, pivot and resolve in front of him. Remember in tango what matters is the embrace, not the steps. So what we focus on is always on staying connected with our center towards the chest of our partner. So if we do it again, my chest is towards him, my chest is towards him, my chest is following his chest, always looking for his center, and here I end up in front of him. This helps you pivot better and be more connected to your leader. Now we show you in the tango embrace, and this is, the embrace is key, key element for this moment. Yes? Why? Because in the open side of the embrace, my left arm and her right arm we are going to put some, we are going to create a wall, we are going to create a firm embrace and here when I want to pivot her, especially here, I'm going to keep the frame and put a little bit of, of pressure here. So I'm not pushing her, I'm not putting tension in my arm, I'm just creating a bit more pressure for her to understand that I'm inviting to do uh, something different here. So. so for the followers you want to be present here. If your arm is floppy and Pablo tries to put pressure, this is gonna happen. No, we want to be like a bit like a wall, always there for them and this is going to help him and us pivot. So this will help us also to keep our space. So we keep our space, I change my weight, I pivot her back by using a bit of pressure on my hand and my center and then we go into the contra giro and finish together. This movement is really cool, it's connected, it's compact, it's circular, we are exchanging a lot of information and energy in the hands, so we love it. Now let's look at it with tango music.
This movement is so cool because it's very rhythmic, it's very connected, it's compact and at the same time you are turning. So there is a lot happening and it works really well on rhythmic music. And this idea of pivoting together and, and this contraposition because we create a contraposition with the body, so it gives some spice, you know, something mm -hmm with a lot of flavor and color to your dance. Now, if you want to keep learning with us, if you want to become a better tango dancer, make sure you join the Tango Space community by signing up to our newsletter. We're gonna put the link in the comments and if you sign up, you're going to receive for free a weekly video lesson every Saturday in your inbox. So the link is gonna be in the comments and this is free. Please keep learning and keep sharing your dancing because the world of tango is your embrace. Yes, definitely. Thank you so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you next week in the next video. Bye. Bye.